So the, one of the biggest challenge from uh, lab to real world, when I was a PhD, I only need this device to work once out of 100 devices. So I can make 100 devices, try each of them 100 times, and I just need one device to work for one time. Um, but when you really want to make it a product, uh, not only you need uh, 99 out of 100 devices to work 99 out of 100 times, uh, at the same time you have to care about cost, you have to, uh, to care about reliability, you have to care about your, uh, um, how much product you can make in a year, and all these commercial where are the killer apps and beachhead market. So that's a lot more, it's a lot harder. Yeah, so we are at uh, early stage. I would say we're still at R&D stage for our technology. Um, but industry ready is a very, I would say, uh, vague word because as I mentioned, there are so many different applications and each different applications have a different tolerance for what is industry ready, I would say. For us, uh, there's, I would say, a standard curve that you will have to define what is the early adopters, which uh, their industry ready is probably uh, or like a working pilot demo that's a complete system, PCIe plugin, um, running an algorithm that they care about. That's already industry ready. So these are early adopters. Mainstream uh, adopters are probably like those data center and so on. They need reliability tests, they need uh, all the software to be ready and then um, also like PCIe powers and everything has been proven and also early adopters have say yes, ha have already said yes to this te technology. So that's probably industry ready for them. So I would say um, for early adopters, we're looking at industry, industry ready in one or two years, um, given the current uh, customers that we're talking to. For mainstream, I would target like a three, five years time period for us to be industry ready. So uh, I think next year we'll, we'll get to the point when we will have uh, um, a hardware that we have de-risked 80 to 90 percent of the technical challenges um, in optical computing for in order for opt optical computing to to be a commercial viable product um, so that was on the technical development side and at the same time I'm looking at uh, getting into a, a more commer like a commercial relationship with a few pilot customers that um, we're talking to nowadays